Right, drainage with 2D data. How's that work? Okay, so we've got some data here and we can see some text showing us cover levels and invert levels. But it's only in 2D this data. If I hit 3D, you'll see the machine is there in space, but the data is all the way down at zero elevation. But we can still use it. We can still use this for our horizontal position and then drop an as-built point on it and create a drain run from that. I'll show you what I mean. So first up, cleanest way to do this is create yourself a new point code for the job that you want to do. So I'm going to go into point code, so I'm going to go plus and I'll say um, F drain. And I'll make it a brownie type colour, I'll just put my initials in there. Okay, so now any points that we drop will be in that code. So now I'm just going to put the bucket in the centre of that manhole. I'm going to move my tool point across the outside edge of the bucket. And I'm going to place my tool point as close to the centre as I can. baseline or create baseline model single point logs there's F drain 1 and somewhere down here should be the other one there this is why I suggest that you make a new code because if you've got loads of other as builds on the site this is the way that you'll decipher which ones you need okay so all we have to do now is link those two together that one to that one. Next page. Where do we want to start from? There to there. There's our slope. Okay. F train. And we're almost ready to go. But because it's a line, we have to tell the system we need to get a reference from it. So. Tap on the line, up and down, absolutely. So I want to get my reference from that line. And left and right or horizontal, again, 
F train, that line. So now we're getting horizontal guidance and vertical guidance. If I change this view to the next page, now we can see the drain slope starting to drop away from us. So we're ready to go. As a sanity check, we can bring in the original data in the background, but just bring it in as a visual, not as a reference data. And there we go. So now we've got the 2D visual, but our 3D design. Hope that helps. Bye for now.